Good afternoon. I'm Chris from Mapillary. I'm going to talk to you about uh, tagging OpenStreetMap change sets with source equals Mapillary. So the source tag itself, uh, this is different than the tags that we see on individual features. I think uh, it's sort of an afterthought very literally because when you go to submit your change set, then suddenly you're wondering, oh yeah, what else do I need to tag on this? Uh, and you're not always thinking about it in the same level of detail as you might be with individual features. But this is important because it lets the users know where the data comes from. Uh, it helps them actually look at a broader scope than just the individual features. And as far as putting Mapillary in these change sets, uh, it helps because we know that there's photo evidence that is linked to the data that was added. Uh, on the Mapillary end, we can start to then query and see where the imagery is being used and uh, in what sort of situations. And ideally, we can also have Mapillary users find um, that their specific imagery is being used in certain areas. And this way, they get feedback on how their image capture is bringing value. Uh, so you can see here from the ID editor, uh, just an example of what tagging the source would look like. Uh, and the last one there on the end is Mapillary. So when you're using Mapillary as a source, uh, one of the ways you can do it is just deriving imagery with your own eyes, or sorry, deriving data with your own eyes from the imagery. So you see on the left, we don't need anything besides this picture uh, and its geolocation to start saying what the speed limit is on this road, uh, whether or not it's lit with street lights, and even the number of lanes. Whereas on the right side as well, we can see there's a fence parallel to the road. That's something we can map. Power lines, the number of stories on this house, uh, and that the surface material of this road is paving stones. So there's a lot of information, uh, not only from one photo, but series of these, and across broad areas. And so suddenly when you're tagging source equals mapillary, that's included um, in that change set marking that you didn't just derive that necessarily from satellite or some other source. Uh, if you're talking about automated extractions uh, from machine learning, then it goes a lot deeper. So here's an image in a downtown area, and it's separating out buildings, uh, lane markings, road, uh, and many of these can be used by a user to actually query it out in detail for something they're looking for. Um, so maybe you're looking specifically for sidewalks in the magenta color here, and it would tell you where images containing these are. So the current status right now of uh, tagging with source equals Mapillary in the change sets is uh, most prominently as OSM ID editor. So this right now, uh, thanks to work by Quincy and Brian on this, that brings the actual uh, source as an automatic tag. So if you have the Mapillary viewer open while you're editing, it's going to add that as a source to your change set. Uh, another is pick for review. This one allows you to uh, go through sometimes discrepancies or different tags in OSM, and it finds images that look at it. Uh, Dereviste is another one that allows you to use Mapillary imagery, click in the image, and add points to the map. And in Jossum, we have in the works also a plan to add the source tag in there automatically uh, if you're using the viewer from Mapillary to, to edit the map. Uh, you can see on the right here, this is just an example from a chain set that Pick for Review submitted. Uh, so in this one, I was adding uh, an address to a building in Denver as part of the building import there. And the pick for review editor actually even goes as far as to add the image key under Mapillary on the specific um, way that is the building. So you can actually drill down on Mapillary and get the exact image in the future. Uh, here's just a quick look at Deraviste, uh, clicking in the image again to add to the map. Uh, here's a future look at OSM ID editor. This is from the preview part. Uh, this has a trash bin, a fire hydrant, a street light on the map derived from the imagery. And finally, uh, a really useful tool here is OSM CHA. It just provides a list of change sets that have Mapillary as a source. So then we can also find imagery inside the same bounding box of the change set and go ahead and see which images might be linked to it. Uh, so we can find out more specifics about which data was used around certain intersections, different types of highways, or certain neighborhoods, uh, and in the future just find out how to make that more available to the user for those situations. Uh, so overall, that concludes my talk. Uh, there's a lot more coming from Mapillary in the future. We're working to integrate further with OSM tools, 
And we hope to see many more change sets with the uh, source equals map that I marked in there. Thank you.